Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Make It Make, where I always try to encourage you, if you can't get it to make, then make it make. Oh gosh, um, I've tried to make this video a couple of times and I struggle with it just because it's, you know, a little personal, but I don't know, I'm not one for small talk. I never have been. And I always wanna to try to be as transparent as I can be with my audience, you know, with, um, me being comfortable with the amount that I share. So um, I really haven't posted in a while. I, you see it on my feed when I posted, but most of it, it with the exception of one video, has um, been batch content, which means that I take a week, sometimes two, and I will batch all my content and then schedule it out for you guys to uh, view it then. Um, and that gives me a break to be able to attend to my family. Um, again, I am homeschooling a child so that needs a lot of my attention. And uh, we have also a puppy. Uh, just like it helps a lot to uh, batch my content. However, with that said, I've had quite the break on YouTube and on my side, just have been really wondering what I have still to offer you all and what I can bring you um, as an audience. Um, when I first started my channel, I started it for many different reasons. One, I needed a creative outlet and um, it's, it was just wonderful for me to be able to do that. I love learning, so uh, to be able to get up and learn about the whole process of it. The other thing was that um, it made me feel good to you know, be able to build something of my own creative work. <laughs> and um, I figured while I'm home and I'm homeschooling and as much as I love being a wife and a mother, why not share with the world the skills that I've learned? And if I could help pay a light bill by doing that, to me, that was a wonderful way to be able to compliment my family, stay at home and have work at home as well. So. Those are the reasons why I started the channel. And I guess now I feel like I've exhausted some of the things I've been talking about, um, you know, with like canning. Um, I feel like I've gone as far as I can in giving you what I know. Now it's not to say that I'm gonna stop canning or anything like that. It's just that I every year I normally can the same things and I don't wanna bore you with the same content over and over. Um, I feel like as far as the Amish series goes, I did part one, two, and three, and then a couple other videos of things that I water bathed. And again, I said it in my pantry tour video, I'll put the link here or here, that although I feel like everything can be water bathed, I'm not gonna water bath every single thing because of time. And it just depends on, again, the situation that I'm in on whether or not I choose to do a three hour water bath, a two hour, or just put it in the pressure canner. I think a part of homesteading is be able to master a skill and then move on to the next skill. But as things come up, I will make sure to share it with you. Also, I'm just not really a fan of, I know a lot of people have asked me to water bath certain things or can certain things. Um, I would love to do it all, but I can't because I'm not a huge fan of making food that my family is not gonna eat. It's just gonna go to waste and especially I mean, anytime, it doesn't even matter with just this time, but anytime, I'm just not a fan of it. Also, you'll see in my channel, I had animals and certain goals that I was working up to. One was that I had a chicken coop, I bought the chicken coop, and I even posted a video on the chicken coop, and I was so, so, so happy and I had I had to sell it and I will tell you why in a moment um, and then with my birds I had quail I loved my quail we were able to hatch out so many quail it was a beautiful experience to be able to show my daughter the whole circle of life and being able to chart the eggs and talk about it and I, I mean showing a child including myself how life is brought into the world and being able to raise an animal and then butchering for me um, it just gives you a certain, a completely different outlook of where your, your food comes from and what it takes to actually raise uh, food for the purpose of consumption. Um, and 
bunnies also <laughs> had two bunnies and one ran away. So anyway, to tie this all together, I had to get rid of my birds. One was because of, you know, the rules and ordinances that they had here. I wasn't quite sure. I knew I could have the quail, but I wasn't quite sure if I could have chickens. So I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting forever to get the go ahead to have chickens. I was walking in faith because I bought my chicken coop. But some of you guys don't know this and it it's hard for me to say, but this is my truth. This is where I'm at. I do rent my home. And so just when I got the go ahead to have chickens, um, my landlords who are the sweetest people in the whole world, please do not judge them because they are good people. Just were not really, um, they, they really didn't want chickens on the property. And then because we live so close to a farm that breeds chickens, they were worried about the flu and all that stuff. And then I had to get rid of my quail. So that's the story with that. That's why there hasn't been any updates on the chicken coop. That's why there hasn't been any updates on the quail or anything like that. And then my rabbit ran away. My New Zealand male, my buck ran away and at that point, I just became very discouraged. You know, it's like you have these plans and I had the plans in my channel to be able to bring you guys so much more content with the chickens and the quail and the rabbits. And then I just sort of started going a little downhill because, you know, we plan things to go a certain way in life and sometimes it just doesn't happen. So I started to get really discouraged and what can I possibly bring you all that and then of course, you know, every once in a while you get in your head with like, oh, these people have this going on and they're doing all these things and that, and that. Honestly, I just don't have that to bring to you right now. I'm hoping that sometime in the future that I can, but my channel's called Make It Make for a reason. And I've been in this place in my life before where, you know, you think that something's just about to lay in the palm of your hands and then it is just whisked away, blown away the second it's about to fall. Um, and that that's where I've always kind of said, you know, my life, I really live it, make it make. So I'm trying to make it make for you in the future content that I wanna bring you. Also, um, some encouraging things that since I've been really down with, it. Um, I've been doing a lot of reading. I've been reading a lot of the Bible, of course. Um, that to me, standing firm in the word, in the word has just been so incredibly helpful to me. Uh, reading the book, um, I'm not sorry, not the book, but the story of David. And now I think I'll start moving into Paul about, you know, suffering and our expectations and what we truly want, um, as opposed to what God wants in our life and how ultimately he can be glorified through us. I'm not trying to preach to you. I'm just telling you where I'm at in my journey. Also, uh, not that the men here want to really hear it, um, but, you know, I mean, I'm 42 years old and I'm starting menopause, which I can't believe that. So that's been another thing I've been tackling with, you know, a bit of disappointment and feeling ridiculously emotional. I tell you, sometimes I don't know, even know who I'm going to be from day to day because of the emotions. So I've been trying to figure out how to tackle that and live with that and be really you know good for my family as much as i possibly can sorry if you hear the water because that's a lot of water retention it's somebody flushed the toilet <laughs> okay so you know there's that it's like oh my word like i feel like things are just going in a different direction than i wanted them to but that's okay that's how life is sometimes it blows us in a different way and you just kind of got to roll with the punches. Um, so I'm here to encourage you that that is okay. And although you see so many YouTubers on the screen and their life may look like this, or sometimes um, just don't feel bad about that. Everybody is human. You never know what goes on behind closed doors, you know? So don't ever glorify anybody that's on the screen. Okay. Um, so, there was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. What was it? Oh, I have to introduce the dog. Let me go grab her. Okay. <laughs> this is Daphne. If I can get her to sit still. She's a, she is a mini golden doodle and she is the most precious little sweetheart. She's so little, pretty face. 
show them your pretty face. Well, go ahead. And um, that's another reason why I've taken a step back and posted just a little bit because uh, training a dog to go potty, I've forgotten how hard it is <laughs> um, and how consistent um, you have to be and just the responsibilities of having um, a life in your hands again is <laughs> is a lot. So we've been trying to be consistent. Woo, what are you doing? Oh my, Whew, you have a secret to tell me? Um, she is so precious, so beautiful. I have to say, I can't imagine what would have happened to her because she has patella on her back leg and then she has a foot here. It's longer, it's shorter than the other one. So she limps and it's practically almost backward. Um, basically right now, the treatment for her is either she has like a major, major surgery and they're not like 100% sure what's gonna happen with that or um, amputation. So I was a little frustrated because I was like, okay, well tell me what would be the remedy of her living with it? You know, um, could you tell me what we can do with her living with it? Because I certainly don't want to amputate her paw, right? You still use it, right? And it's not bothering you yet. I mean, I'm telling you, like, if you have three fingers on a hand, you don't cut off the whole hand. So let's, I'm just not one to quickly go for surgeries and things like that. I like to see how an animal is going to do first before we go to those types of lengths, right? Because I mean, you, you still use your paw. Tell them, right? And you may limp around a little bit, but that's okay, right? Mm. Oh, she's so precious. But don't let, don't feel sorry for her because let me tell you, she's got spunk. I have another dog and you, Missy, you drive my other dog, Winnie, crazy. I would show you Winnie, but she is addicted to my husband. So like, and she's older. She really doesn't want to be bothered. But anyway, here's our new addition. She's precious. And I guess just prayers that we can continually take care of her as she sees the vet and, you know, continue on a good plan for her for life, right? <laughs> Lastly, um, if I have something that has been so incredibly um, encouraging and beneficial to me and there's a way that I could pass it on to you, then I'm going to do that. I have been, along with my Bible studies, reading a blog um, about this uh, woman, Brittany, who is like living life with cancer and... Um, has children and a husband and what that looks like and what God is doing in her life and what God is revealing to her. And for me, it's just helped keep me really grounded on truly what's important in life. Because I think so often as we, you know, do the mundane things of life, you know, we could lose sight truly of what's important. And it's not about how many likes you have, how many followers you have. Um, it's, it, you know, how much land you have, how many animals you have, how big your house is, whether you rent, whether you own. Um, for me, it's about how my life can be used for the glory of God. And that's gonna be really hard sometimes for me um, because, there is a struggle of humanity that we, in humanity where we have that selfishness, where we desire our wants and the things that we want to do, but what if God had a different plan? Could we accept that plan and allow him to be glorified through that, even if it's not something that we had originally wanted? So I will put that blog and let me know if you're blessed by it. Um, and I hope that you've been encouraged somehow somewhere I always try to keep you updated I know it's not like necessarily a canning video um, or a cooking video but I just kind of wanted to let you know where I was at and um, I hope it blesses you and as always take care and God bless